And good evening and welcome to another EMS Raycall. Raycall EMS 1 CSGO Cup number something or other that I've forgotten about. It's the playoffs! Hurrah! Uh, fantastic. We haven't got to remember cup numbers, which is good for me because I'm completely blind when it comes to how many cups we've done so far. It just seems like so many already. Uh, eight cups across two seasons, of course, two playoffs. And now in the second season of the playoffs, you've already enjoyed two days of Counter-Strike Go with Mr. Jason Kaplan. And Mr. Joe, don't call me Joe, Joe Miller, 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 Miller. And today you get me and Pansy. Yes, that's right. We've got Pansy for the first time in the studios here at ESL TV because she is now full time with ESL TV. How devil are you? Not too bad, actually. Rather looking forward to actually casting something now. Yes. Uh, having not got anywhere to live and no money. And no. No. Pretty much living out of the cardboard box these days. Yeah, okay. Well, this, 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 right, this will be an improvement for you because the chairs are comfy and yep. uh, the air conditioning is working, which is uh, a good change. Uh, we have some fantastic games for you tonight for Group C of the playoffs. Uh, four teams already through to the round of eight. Just a reminder for you, the uh, round of eight, eight teams from the 16 that take, play, uh, take part in the playoffs right now. Uh, four already gone through, as I said. Two tonight and two more tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Central European summertime. None of that. British summertime. I had to be careful what I said with the B there because I was thinking of something completely different, uh, which you can probably work out. Uh, tonight, though, we're going to give you our first match, which is going to be a classic. It's not quite the El Clasico of CSGO, but it's not far away. It's Ninjas in Pyjamas versus Fnatic. Let's show you the lineups first of all and uh, show you, I guess, what? NIP first? I'm going to guess because Tim hasn't told me. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so uh, Ninjas in Pyjamas lining up as ever with the standard five that they've got. I, I, we need to find a better name for them. We've got the Golden Five, who are ESC. I hate calling in the pajamas the Standard Five. It seems almost subpar somehow. Uh, get right, Forrest, Fifth Laren, Freiburg, and Exist. And you can uh, connect with them via all the usual social network e, -E stuff uh, via forward slash on Facebook Nip Gaming and on Twitter at Nip Gaming as well. Uh, so that's the Swedes. And they go head to head with more Scandinavians, uh, not all Swedes, just the one. Uh, of course, uh, Moddy in the middle, uh, with Trace, Carrigan making a return, Zip, and Freese. And uh, just a little note for you. Yes, I know that Stinger in the picture, and <laughs> he's since left. But we picked that because Moddy, well, Look he, looks, he looks like Moddy. You've got you to keep that in. Yeah. That's... <laughs> it's a mild, that's a mildly awkward picture from Moddy, mm. uh, but I'm pretty sure he. I'm, I'm, I'm sure actually after the um, the quarterfinals last year, we were talking afterwards. I'm pretty sure he said that his picture looked pretty nerdy. Yeah. Uh, so not me slagging Moddy off. Uh, it's actually himself. Uh, so uh, we hopefully. In fact, let me just pop in and see what we what we got going on. I've not got quite all the players in just yet. So um gives us a chance to talk a little bit about the history from the mm. season. Um because um Pansy's been busy putting statistics <laughs> together and then dropping them down careful dear, that Found. doesn't work down there. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, they disappear. Bottomless pit of yeah. curiousness. Yes. Um, and uh, what we found out is that uh, NIP have lost four maps over two seasons, won two cups. Uh, last year won a cup, this year won a cup, and of course are the defending Raycourt EMS1 champion. So is there anything, in your opinion, that you think is going to stop them going through this group stage like <laughs> a hot knife through butter tonight? Well, I, I think they've certainly picked the right group for them to be in, considering who they lost to. The, uh, obviously the Wolf combo that kind of took them down, they picked a group that had neither of those people in there. So probably the right group to be in for them. I don't know who can stop them. That's the thing. There's a lot of teams who kind of could. I think Anexus showed a great bit of talent earlier on. I think there might have been a couple of you guys who watched that obviously yesterday. But no one's yet to kind of topple them over apart mm. from the Wolves. So yep. it's going to be a hard one anyway. But certainly teams are capable. But whether or not they are on the day is a very different matter. Yes, um, I would kind of agree with that. Um, the weird thing is that uh, we should also clarify that the teams sort of picked which group they wanted to be in. At least four of them did. Uh, if you weren't <laughs> with us for the group draw last Thursday night, uh, the way it works is that we uh, seed the teams into the different groups, except for the top four. Uh, the top four then get to choose which group they would like to be in. They can either stay in the group they've been seeded into or they can choose to join another group. And we have saw that actually NIP did that and uh, got themselves into what many have called the group of death, Group C. Uh, it does have a fantastic lineup of teams, but uh, the former Absolute Legends team are also in there. They're now called Team X or yep. X Factor or something. I don't know. Um, something with an X in. Uh, which we might or might not see this evening, uh, depending on the way the results work out. We're going to give you Nip versus Fnatic first. It seems the most obvious game to choose. 
uh, could end up deciding who wins the group out of these two. But in the next game, we'll also have Nip versus a Nexus. That'll be our second match in, in uh, as well. That's got a storied history between those two teams. And the Nexus has been very close several times to taking down NIP. And then the third game, we'll wait and see which teams are on the verge of qualifying or not as to decide how we uh, pick the two teams, two matches. But in all likeliness, it's probably going to be Fnatic versus a Nexus. So we might not see Team X this evening, uh, but nevertheless, we are ready uh, if we do. Um, still not a full set of players on the server, which I'm a little disappointed about, mm. I have to say. Um, but what, one, two, three? Well, Fnatic yeah. have made it. No, yeah, I mean, IP Fnatic or... have got four on, uh, and NIP have got three on, which is... Uh, kind of annoying. Um, I wonder if Tim. I wonder if you have those uh, those videos ready, dear. He's he's, he's not in his head. Like, yeah, that's an affirmative. Really? Okay. That's um, it's probably not what we want to play right now. <laughs> um, uh, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll carry on nattering. Um, we can also talk about map distribution as well. We might end up seeing cache or cash, yep. uh, depending on whether you're American or European, uh, this evening, which actually. Uh, an old map that I played many, many moons ago. I'm pretty damn sure I played it in like 1.4 or something uh, and haven't seen it for a long time either. So we might end up seeing that map this evening. Uh, in fact, is that, the first, is that the map? I think it actually might be. For Nip versus Fnatic, because... Um, They're currently on it. They are on it right now. So, yeah, um, could be that that's the first, the first map. We have seen it a few times here and there. Uh, ESCO famously used that map quite a bit. So I'm, I'm sort of okay with it. Um, does uh, does introduce a little bit more randomness. Anyway, some of the more popular maps, uh, the six that we had in the map pool from last season, uh, Pansy again has done some statistical Just a few. Uh, checking. Just a few. <laughs> Blimey, O'Reilly. I thought your head was going to explode. Uh, it's interesting, actually, comparing the statistics from this season to last season's uh, map distribution. Last season, Mirage was a 51-49 map. Inferno was a 51-49 map. Uh, Dust 2, 45-55 in favour of T's. The only one. Uh, Nuke was a 60 40 map. Train was a 53 47 map, which is not what you'd expect, but the changes to train obviously make it that way. Uh, moving on to this season, uh, this is just a direct comparison. Uh, interestingly, train has gone up to become a 57% CT map, uh, but that's unusual because everything else has come down. Nuke is now a 58 42 map, which is very interesting. Uh, Dust 2, slightly more CT favoured now than it was last season, but still a team map uh, by 54 to 46. Inferno, though, has gone up to 55-45 in favour of CTs, whereas it was a 51-49. And Mirage, which was always the most balanced map of the lot, is still the most balanced map, 52-48. Uh, uh, Pistols-wise as well, that's changed a little bit, hasn't it? Do you want to run through those? Well, you've got the stats in front of you. Well, I've got the stats so in front of me. I'm going to share them with you because I'm, <laughs> I'm good like that. Well, to be fair, I expected there to be a huge change, considering the updates that happened with the Glock especially. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, the, the Glock patch, if those of you who don't know, the Glock's been, uh, been given a little nerf. Uh, mm. Interestingly, we've got five Fnatic players and no Nip players now, which is weird. Okay. Oh, no, uh, oh, yeah, they are coming right. back. Uh, yeah, so last year, last year what we found was um, the T-sides on pistols always had an advantage on every single map. That's maintained. That's been exactly the same. It's still a T-side, and it's 60% plus on every single map. Uh, the difference is, is that since the Glock patch, it hasn't actually made that much difference. Not drastically, no. no. There may have been a slight drop in the percentage. I think there's been about a 3 or 4% drop. Looking at the overall stats, so look at the pistol, then let's go for train, for example, as we've seen a bit of a change already on that one. It's, you know, you're looking in the 60s for it originally before the patch and when it was kind of being played out during that. And there was a slight change during that as well. So that's when it started to drop down. But now you can see it on a 54. So yeah. it's not a huge drop. It's yeah. not what I expected. I thought it was going to be a lot more even. I thought, the, you know, the CT side have had it a bit more of a chance recently, but it's still not showing in the stats that much. Yeah, the biggest drop is actually on Nuke. Uh, mm. Some 11% swing change on that map. So it's now a 55-45 map. Uh, we're talking pistols only right now. So when it's a pistol round, uh, not an eco round, when it's a pistol round, uh, T's have a 55-45 advantage. But last season... That was 66. Massive. 34 in favour of T. So the Glock has 
come down a little bit, has started to switch back over, and the changes to the Deagle have also started to balance things yeah. out. I think we're, we're still in the, in the throes of that sort of stuff. What do you think? Yeah, most certainly. Pistol rounds are still very much... Uh, Within all the new updates, it's all it's quite hard to call sometimes. You know, obviously with the map biases as well in play, with Nuke the way it is being such a CT favoured map, with them starting to win pistols as well, you're starting to see a bit of a different outcome. There's a lot of evener kind of uh, results as such originally, but now obviously it's a bit more CT biased even further initially because of that pistol kind of coming down from the T's. So it's, it's an interesting way to kind of pan out. It's nice seeing CS progress that, that way, and a lot of the results reflecting the updates and how they should be, but not as drastically as I expected yet. Hmm. Okay, uh, if you want more information, uh, not the statistical information, but we will release this at some point, I promise. I've been saying it for a while. <laughs> uh, we compiled it all last season. I had several people asking me for uh, all the information to be released. We will do it, but I want to find a way in which we can do it that's, um, that's nice for you guys to enjoy. I don't want to just throw a spreadsheet out there for you to, to do, which is what we use. <laughs> Uh, it'd be nice to have some sort of mini website or maybe we can build it into the raid called EMS1 website, I don't know, but we'll certainly find a better way of releasing the information to you so you can see all of the stats that we talk about on the show. Uh, if you want the other information, uh, it's csgo.raidcall-ems1.com. I know it's not the most friendly of URLs, but bookmark it and you'll be fine. And uh, you can see all the results, not only from this season, from all four cups, the playoffs, the group stages, but also the historical stuff from last season as well. It's all on there as well. Don't forget, Load up your raid call. You can watch the tu watch the uh, stream and chat about it in uh, an exclusive channel as well. So, uh, just want to check and see. Uh, actually, we do have all of them on. So, why don't we drop hey. you in there? And you can watch a bit of warm up as we natter around it as well. <laughs> um, we've got uh, seemingly. Well, I was going to say we had all of them on there, but one just dropped. Yeah, one just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Always the way. Always the way. Uh, so yeah, fifth land, get right, fry, big forest, all in there, and just waiting for the last Swede to join us uh, in this first game. So uh, this is not uh, challenge mode, by the way. This is pure groups. So yep. uh, if you're used to different uh, tournament formats and what have you, this is pure groups. So literally, all four teams will play each other once. The top two will qualify, and uh, if we get a tie, it'll be on head-to-head. -head. If it's not on head-to-head -head and that doesn't work out, and it was a draw, then it goes to round difference, and the top two teams will qualify. Uh, for the group stages, the group, uh, sorry, for the round of eight, the round of eight or the quarterfinals, we probably should call it, really, because that's what we are in Europe, we're quarterfinalists, uh, will be taking place at the end of the month, on the 29th and the 30th of June, and yes, it will be on land here in Cologne. Uh, we had a very, very successful land finals for EMS 1 Season 1 uh, a couple of months ago now. It doesn't, seems like yesterday, but yeah, it is a couple of months ago. And uh, they will be held again in Studio 1 at ESL TV's uh, state-of-the-art production facility here in Cologne. And we uh, we probably haven't said anything yet, but I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a fair fact that Pansy will be uh, part of the commentary team well, for I that. I hope so. It would, wouldn't it, really, I'd since we've hired you? I know, it'd it be like, a bit well, weird, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't think I'd be too. Uh, yeah, sorry, Lauren. Like sorry, Lauren. I know we've hired you, but uh, <sighs> sorry, can't can't get you along yeah, for Jason's the finals. Jason's coming in for the final. That, that's <laughs> how I go down, right? <laughs> hey, don't start on Jason. <laughs> nothing wrong with Jason. I love Jason. Deep yeah, down. nothing wrong deep, with Mr. JK. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's done a sterling job for us this season, he filling in indeed. and helping us out with some Counter Strike. I might even have to throw a mid lane in there at some point tonight. Oh, I certainly am. I'm I'm playing full homage to him for this. All right. Uh, we actually did one cast where, and nobody noticed it until right. about, I think probably about two and a half hours in when, when I think I might have dropped an obvious one. Uh, but we did a whole a whole night of casting mm. where we basically had to name as many League of Legends champions <laughs> during the <laughs> CS matches as we could without being noticed. That was the key. You only got a point if no one noticed. Wait, and how long did this go on for? A couple of hours. A couple of it hours. It was a couple of hours. Noticed. Yeah. And then I think I dropped a rather obvious one, and then <laughs> yeah, that was it then, really. After I that, they figured it out. I don't know how you can be subtle. People. How can you be subtle in that? Um, <laughs> yeah. to, well, think of to be fair, Jason did a lot better than I did early on. He was like, I don't know, 7-3 up or something. Wow. And, then, and then I came out with one which was like, no, 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 no. You're oh. not, not getting into that oh. bombsite. Dear yeah, put on God. a little bit of a Scottish accent, and then, you know, tweaked it a little bit and I got like a bit that. of a no-no in there. Um, I like that. But yeah, after that, I was kind of, that was it. I've, sh I've shot my load and there was no way I was going to be able to get... Look, I'm uh, going to make no comment on that. I no, seem to make not. some horrible sort of judgment calls on these uh, phrases, let's say. Indeed. Oh, dear. Uh, so, still waiting for 
our final nip player to... Uh, I'll tell you what, um, let me just message Get Right and ask if they need a fifth. You're all right holding this, aren't you? Yeah, I'll be no fine. Problem. I don't know if, uh, well, NIP will be, but, you know, let's just give Fnatic <laughs> a chance and all well, that. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, like, you know... Help them out. Yeah, let's help Fnatic out. I'll go and play for, for, for NIP for the Dodgy evening. Dodgy esports money. I see yeah. how it is. They've been slipping your fibers in the back pocket, haven't they? Uh, no. No. More than that? Yeah, no, you know, if, I, if they want me to play for NIP, then they have to pay oh, me a lot more me. than that. Oh, dear. Uh, I was going to talk about, and then I sort of forgot about it. I was going to talk about the fact that these two teams have met a few times in the past. Yeah. Um, just breaking it down a little bit. Uh, EMS won Spring Cup, of course, uh, last year. 16-7 mm -hmm. uh, on Nuke. And 16-6 uh, on Dust 2 as well, um, both in favour of NIP. Uh, they also played in the Fnatic Frag Out League, and even when Fnatic had their own cup and named it after themselves, they still couldn't beat NIP. Uh, lost that one 16-7, 16-8, sorry, on Nuke. Uh, and the last time they played was also on Nuke, uh, which was on the uh, Star Ladder, Star Series 4, uh, which NIP won 16-3, uh, albeit slightly different lineup, obviously without Carrigan and with Stinger in there. Uh, but it's, uh, it's four out of four in recent history between these two, including the Raycor EMS1 Cups. And that isn't really a surprise. We don't see Nip losing all that many games. They lost two last season, one weirdly to kick. Uh, take nothing away from them. That was in the normal Cup stages. They also lost to end faculty last season uh, during regular Cup play as well. They're best of one map, so anything can happen sometimes, I guess. Uh, and then this season, they've also dropped two matches, uh, two maps, I should say. Yep. Uh, against Copenhagen Wolves and Western Wolves. So four defeats in their entire raid call EMS1 history, which coincidentally is as many as they've ever lost offline. Pretty much. All of them to Virtus Pro. Uh, we are finally ready, so the, uh, the chit-chat can end, and it's time for Pansy's first ever knife round in the ESL TV studio. You don't get to do this to me. This is just cruelty at its finest. I'm not appreciating this. I cannot do accents for the life of me. Really? So, yeah, I'm really bad at accents. Oh, you're like letting a, the side down. Joe, Joe's going to be distraught. Joe will be sitting there weeping into yeah. his little kind of plush dolls of League of Legends characters. But I am awful at accents. But nevertheless, uh, Carrigan seems to be using that knife rather correctly onto Freeburg. But Fifth Lawrence even did no, up. No, no, See? no, See? no, See? no, See? no, 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 no. Please, can't, just take over. You can't there's, use there's a proper five. accent. There's two people. Oh, it's, it's falling away no. from you now. You let it go. No, it's, this is your fault. Can't Use this proper accents. Uh, we've ended up with a 1v1. That's Where's a the Scottish accent? That's a fu. Easy peasy! <laughs> hey, he's gonna come at me with a knife, man, and stab me in the face! Uh, yeah, it's, it's Scottish is that's too fantastic. easy, so we, yeah, we, we let that one go. Uh, you're gonna have to learn. It's part of your, can I part get of your learn. Well, I, I'm sure Joe will give some lessons on uh, on uh, Belfast accents. He's is he, is he brilliant on Belfast okay. accents. Okay. Uh, and Jason's excellent at American accents. Well, that's, that's, no, I'm not going to be a Southern Belle for the next couple of these, jeez. Ah, uh, dear. Right, so knife round is done, uh, thankfully. <laughs> uh, never a great fan of them. I'd prefer just a 1v1, you know, deagle shootout in the middle of the map or something. Golden gun. Paintball. Bit of that. Or bash rounds were pretty good back in. Oh, well, don't They, they were kind of cool, come on. They looked cool. You're losing credibility fast. I never had community. credibility. Okay. Let's just be serious. It's me they expect this from. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm pretty relatively new to this map. Um, I've played it a couple of times, I've got to say. Uh, where's the bias in this? I think you kind of, from your personal experience, said <sighs> I, CT? Uh, old school was CT, because their spawns yeah. were usually pretty damn close next oh, okay. to the two bomb sites. But pff, who knows? Yep. Uh, I've seen CTs dominate this map, and I've mm. also seen Ts dominate this map. And we haven't got enough statistics to say it's you know, conclusively, yeah. it's one way. The trouble is, is like if Nip start on T side, and they play a poor team, and they 15 know it, then the stats go. Out it's away. massive T bias map, but it's not really because it was NIP, and we've only got three three matches in it. So you know, I don't know. Anyway, uh, enough of the nonsense. We are about to get underway. Ninjas in pajamas versus Fnatic. Our opening game of Group C this evening. And uh, NRP lining up with Fifth Lauren, Forest, Get Right, Freiburg, and Exist, as you've known to come and love them. And Fnatic lining up, as ever, with Moddy, Zip, Carrigan, Trace, and Freese. And we are underway with Fnatic starting off on T side. And Fifth Lauren just now 
on City. So I was a lone ranger for a little while. They're actually going to wait here, and it's going to be a push onto the A bomb site all already. In fact, Fries has come all the way round here. Exists is trying to hide around the back. He's going to get picked up. Is he? No, he did get the first one. Won't get the second one though. Fries replying back. Moddy and Zip have come in with two as well. And Fnatic have a four versus two in the opening round. Bomb's going to get planted at red, and Freiburg has down Trace with a headshot. Now reduces that gap to one. Can they move in together here? Fifth Lauren just off to the right-hand side, out of shot. Freiburg with just 17 points out. Fifth Lauren's now going to try and cover the top. They've perfectly covered this one, though. For now. Stunning shot from Freiburg. It wasn't quite good enough, though. Brilliant shot from Fifth Lauren. Headshot in onto Moddy. And now a one versus two. I don't know if he can do this one. Zip's now going to try and take him out. We'll pick him up with the Glock. And that will be Fnatic's opening round as they take a pistol on, guess what, the T side. Yeah, who'd have guessed it, but... It's a great start for Fnatic. It's something they definitely need. Considering the last you know, couple of games, they've only ever reached the maximum amount of seven rounds. This is a good way to kick things off. Hopefully going to follow up with a couple of couple more. So let's see if they go for that quick push again. I doubt they will this time. Obviously, they do have a little bit more weaponry to worry about. Obviously, you don't want to be losing that to NIP early on. But we do see Exist rocking that Deagle. Might get to see that in action if we are lucky and see if uh, it really has been upped to what we expect. But it does seem as though Fnatic taking their time now. So... Auto director seems to think Exist is the man to be watching right now, even though Fnatic are looking like they're going to edge through mid towards... Well, they were looking at B earlier on, but it seems like they're dividing their time. They go try and work that first pick. Ziv has caught a glimpse of Fiflarent, tagged him up a touch, but the initial exchange is going to be freeze taking down Exist towards the A-bomb site, cutting straight through, going to look to follow up, and he has great second headshot there onto Forrest. Can he get that? Yes, he can! Beautiful play going out from Freeze. Just rocking that Glock like there's no tomorrow. So now only Geraint and Freeberg are standing, but there's that Deagle in action that we were waiting to see. And well, it's been done pretty good. So, 4v2, bomb now down in favour of the T-side, obviously, and get right with the shotgun. You know, he can do danger, but, well, held at distance with that AK. You're not going to get too far, especially in Zip's hands. So now only get right stands. And let's see exactly where he is. Just, uh, I think he's just going to be going for any frags he can get and try and uh, get out of this alive, possibly, or hopefully get some damage done. Because obviously with the bomb down, you're not going to be doing too much against a team like Fnatic. So this is going exactly the way Fnatic would want it to so far. They've only lost one player as, uh, as this has begun, and that is free. He's already picked up a three-man, so not bad overall. There we go. Get right, survive, see another day, it seems. And, well, Fnatic, two rounds on the board. Fairly straightforward. Uh, Eco Bash in the end. It was actually Freese uh, picking up the three in that round. And two with pistols. Really nice work from him. That's given Fnatic their uh, early lead. Carrigan and Trace yet to get off the mark, though. Uh, likewise, get right and Forest, but I'm sure we'll see all four players uh, picking up the frags as we move through these rounds. So into round three. And, uh, oops, really? that's not good. Nope. That's not good at all. Running man is never a good look. No. <sighs> little swishy knife on the movement <laughs> with nothing going on on the rest of the screen. Not a good sign. Uh, looks like we have a pause already then. Uh, yep. Let me just see if I can... Yeah, that's a pause, isn't it? Yeah, most certainly. Ah, deary, deary me. Uh, quick recap of the scoreboard then. Uh, you know where the scores are right now. It's 2 nothing in a Fnatic. Freiburg with 2. Existing fifth Lauren just with a single killer piece. Freeze with four after that. Three man in round two. Zip with three. And Moddy with two. Interesting. I can't hear Tim in my earphones anymore. No. That's weird. No, yeah, yeah, now I can. What hey, do you buddy. Know? Uh, what, sorry? Freiburg crashed. Uh, oh, Freiburg crashed again. <sighs> Gonna be okay. one of those days. It, 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 this could be a while. This this could be a while. Uh, what can you do? If you crash, you crash. Yep. <sighs> Bit of a shame. Hopefully Fnatic don't lose that momentum. Not amused face. Someone will gift that now. <laughs> You've got to be careful what you do on these shows, I tell you. Because uh, uh, the gift's coming thick and fast. And... Uh, here is the news. Yeah, it's, it's a bit like that, wasn't it, when I picked up the paper? I don't know what I was thinking. I'm in a really <laughs> weird mood this evening, trust me. It's going to be very odd. Mm. Um, I, I would think, actually, before we... Let me just come out of that. and uh, I wonder, There was something else I wanted to show you. Uh, it wasn't that. Uh, oh, let me see if I can... Now. Hey? Oh, no, no, don't be nervous. It's not those pictures. Oh, OK. Um... Yeah, there we go. 
Right, let's pop this on your screen just while we're waiting for them. You let me know if they decide to come back yeah. and we'll switch straight back to the game. I uh, just wanted to take you through. If you weren't with us yesterday, uh, we did have Group B matches going on. A thrilling end to the evening uh, as well with uh, very games of Virtus Pro tying things up. They've had a really... Uh, rich run of form between the two teams. Fantastic. They've played all 30 rounds every time they've played in the three matches this season uh, of the uh, Rayco EMS1. And it was no different on Tuesday night either in Group B as those two topped the table to go through Virtus Pro and Very Games. Then Faculty and Raiders not able to get out of the group. And then on Monday, um, some brilliant games as well. Copenhagen Wolves going 3-0 and in the group stages just to confirm how good they've been. They've reached two of the finals so far in the regular cups. 1-1, one, one, lost one. They went through with ESC, uh, having had a draw with Na'Vi. Sprint Fox not able to turn up, really, on uh, Monday, despite the fact they started the season so well. Tonight, mm. of course, Ninjas and Pajamas Fanatic, Team X, uh, former Absolute Legends team, and a Nexus, and it looks like we're back. So, Seems like it. Let's throw you back into the game, because it is... Yes, we are back. Good, good news. That was good timing, too, because yeah. I was about to talk about Group D, but I can save that till later. Right then, so, back into round three, uh, where we still have Get Right with that uh, shotgun. It's not the mag either. But at the moment, having lost Freese, and presumably they've lost Freiburg as well, because he crashed. Uh, yeah, there's the, uh, the kill onto him, so he's gone. Uh, but Fnatic have uh, taken a lot of damage, but now Zip... Uh, Coming in on fifth Laren gives them a man advantage, and they've managed to get into the inner bomb site and get the bomb planted here as well. Oh, lovely little bit of shotgun work from Get Right. Picks up the kill on Moddy with a single shot through. Carrigan's going to go down here as well to Get Right, who's now got himself a better gun in the form of the AK 47. This is on right now for NIP. They've got two more inside the bomb site, and both of them have been disposed of. That's a short fuse. Uh, he's probably okay, actually. Um, didn't have a kit, but it's not going to make any difference. And that will be a third round win for NIP, even though they lost Freiburg from the mix as well. Amazing uh, from them. They did that, effectively, it was an eco because no one bought in the round. There was a shotgun held over from the previous round. And by golly, wouldn't you believe it? NIP of one round three. Yeah, dangerous play from Fnatic to go towards B when they knew Get Right had that shotgun. I, very, very dangerous to even kind of give that man a chance. So let's go forward into the next couple of rounds. The old exchange has gone down, Exist and Zip both picking up a frag. So leaving four for both sides, but uh, Fnatic looking to make this one a little bit quicker than the last. Zip peering through towards the A bomb site. Not found much yet. Seems that Carrigan's kind of picked up that mantle, pushing forward now. Smoke in places. They're, they're just trying to test the water right now. No one really wants to go down. Freeberg has got himself positioned very nicely on the B-bomb site if they do intend to push, and it does seem as though they are. There we go. Smoke's flashes going up, and there we go. Freeze has connected the shot onto Fifth Laren. Here comes a burst from Fnatic pushing forward. Carrigan in trouble. Oak Forest there takes him down, and it, well, it's, it's oh. going okay until they met Freeberg, who did find one, but quickly gets put to bed by Zip. So, leaving in a 3v2 in favour to the defending. So, actually, no, tell a lie. Freeberg is down. Sorry, 2v2. Forest and exist, but Forest is nearly dead, and as is Zip. So, let's see if these guys can kind of uh, last this one out. This is going to be a tentative situation for both sides. Zip dug in deep on the site. And the female starting to make their move as they have to. Dropping down. This exists to go first. He does catch a glimpse of one. He has found the shot to freeze, but Zip quickly avenges. 1v1. Huh. It's the players who are so desperately damaged. And well, he's just about dropped down in time. Hopefully he can get the no. defuse going on. He's, has no. he missed that? He's missed that he's one. He's missed that one, but that is <laughs> the two players left on a slither of HP. He had to really pick that one up. But there we go. Three rounds on the board for Fnatic to only one for NIP. But I think NIP are going to start picking this one up now. Well, they're going to need to. Uh, yeah. Zip is uh, having a bit of a monster game to start with. Mm -hmm. Four rounds in, seven and two. Freeze, five and three. Exist top of the score for Nip right now with four and three. Just Carrigan, the only man not off the, uh, off the mark just yet. And Fnatic lead three, one crazy couple of rounds. Uh, Nip winning in round three against the odds. Uh, losing a man, 4v5 with only a shotgun between them. Win the round. Then they fully kit themselves up and they lose. And now we've got five AKs versus mm, a couple of Famas, an M4 and a Deagle 
Uh, I think we could safely say that's a three-quarter bite. And Nip find themselves 3-1 down. It's uh, best of one, of course, don't forget. And they can't afford any mistakes here. And Freiburg's got himself two. Can he get a third? No, not quite. Zip replying back. Nicely done. And it's even the matchup. Single shots out from Fifth Lamb. He tried one, two, three. None of them worked. And he did land a little bit of damage, but no kill. Bomb planted here. Chance for Fnatic to pick up another round. Moddy does good work. Picking off Fifth Lamb on the balcony. Exist is now going to try and move in. I, he might almost be better saving this one. But Forrest is going to go for this as well. He gets picked off by Trace. He picks up a second on Exist. And Ninjas in pyjamas have found themselves 4-1 down right now in their first Group C game. Yeah, and I've got to say, this is probably the most amount of rounds uh, Fnatic have had against IP in quite some time. I think the last time they played, they only managed to get three. So obviously these guys are now feeling a little bit better about themselves. Hopefully they can keep this going. And NIP, they've only got pistols. So this, in theory, should be another round for Fnatic. But then again, it's NIP. Let's have a look here, see how this one's going to go down. Obviously, Molly has caught the first glimpse of Freeberg there. Taking up just a touch. Freeberg doesn't want to go down without a fight. Pushing forward as is Forrest, and we know how dangerous he can be with that pistol. He has tagged up Molly, so a bit of an exchange. NIP still slightly worse off. But quite aggressively pushed up. Get right, trying to lay down some fire there. Doing the damage, but not a great deal done. So obviously, Freeze, Carrigan, and Zip doing the frags. Forrest has found one, though. And he's the man you'd want with that pistol still alive, but I think it's a bit of a tall task even for him. Well, let's have a look, see how he's going to get on now in this 1v4. He's only got one so far. Well, let's see if he can find any others. Bomb going down towards the A-bomb site. He is now planted, so clock against him. One HP as well. He's got away by the skin of his teeth, but he's going back for more. Not going to happen. And there we have it. <laughs> Fnatic on five rounds. This isn't going too badly for them so far. Uh, I don't know if it's a understatement, isn't it? I think Just fantastically <laughs> well. Uh, fantastic Fnatic they are. Uh, after six rounds, 5-1 up on cash here. And Ninjas in Pajamas having ecoed that one. Ooh, want to put the next one on the board. Need some big plays from their big players right now. Fnatic, meanwhile, just hovering mid. No push either side. Two breaking towards B. Also looking towards the other side. They exchange a frag apiece. And Carrigan's got his first one. And it's taken them until round seven to find it. Difficult to judge what impact he's had so far. Replacing Stinger doesn't really showing results, but it always takes a bit of time to fit a new player in, regardless of the fact of whether you play with him before or not. But right now, their results have not improved, uh, at least from my perspective. Remember last year's runners-up in the Ray Corn EMS One Cup Final? Soundly beaten by Ninjas in Pyjamas. Here, though, looking to do a number on there. Scandinavian counterparts, double flash in, they go, I thought they were going to push and then they didn't, now they do push and Exist is waiting, this is going to be a turkey shoot for him, gets a double, Get Right comes in with a third and the fourth, and say goodnight Fnatic in round seven, you waited too long my friends, and Ninjas in pyjamas pick up their second round of the game. Yeah, and very well deserved round, I've got to say, that was fantastically played by them. Really cool, calm and collected. It seems as though Fnatic are trying to play it a little bit like Dust 2. They're trying to hover around mid initially, try and get the attention, and then go exactly towards the bomb site, which we're seeing a lot. And it's not really worked that round against NIP, who are so disciplined, and you saw it perfectly there. So let's see what Fnatic have in store. We see a couple of Galils there, one for Zip, actually, in the mix of AKs. But see so who's going to have that first opening fragment. It is Trace actually pick up the face of Exist, quickly put to bed by Forrest. The exchange happening on a rather quickly, knocking Forrest down to 7 HP. So I can imagine he's going to be a little bit more defensive and play as passively as possible for now. So 4v4, Fnatic making their way through mid. Still looking towards A though, but they haven't checked their corners and Fiflaren is just waiting there, comfortably taking down Carrigan and leaving only two alive now as he picks up Zip as well. And this is NIP looking very strong now. They've found that kind of comfortable level they want to now sit at as only Moddy and Free still stand. Now going to switch up and go towards that B bomb site. Freeberg dropping out the nades and Flashes does get a connection, but Moddy has found one, found two. Great play from Moddy, cracking open in the site, leaving a 2v2 situation. The HP completely and utterly in favour to Fnatic now. So 
Here comes the move from Forrest. Oh, oh great connection oh, on De Vries. Is that the, they've denied the bomb plant as well, leaving only Moddy standing, but look at the HP. No, the bomb is down ticking, yeah, excuse me. Ticking. 11 and seven, Forrest just about alive, as is Fiflaren. Moddy takes down one, he's got Fiflaren. Can he find Forrest? Ticking, oh, he's got a glimpse, but he missed the shot. He only managed to take off one HP. Oh, here comes a defuse. He's faked it out. They're dancing between pixels, and he's finally landed the shot. Beautiful play coming back from Fnatic. Four frags for Moddy. Brilliant play. Yeah, the George Foreman is uh, <laughs> confirmed for Moddy. I haven't heard that for a while, actually. I haven't done one of them for some time. Uh, he's moved on to seven for four. Uh, zip on nine to five. Uh, obviously going to work. A freeze eight to seven. Trace five, five. And Carrigan now three for six uh, on the nip side. Things not looking too good right now, but it's completely flipped round. Getting right, Forest now top the board for their teams. But that's not talking about too much right now. Oh, a little bit of uh, friendly fire there, but it's not going to make any difference. Trace does get the double. Freeze picked off the opening one, only to reply back, and uh, Forrest just smashes his keyboard as if there were a spider to smack and comes up with a number of random stuff. And uh, Forrest is now getting... <laughs> That's as cross as I've ever seen him get in game ever. Uh, How could I hit you, Tracy says, unsmiling. And uh, Fnatic will clean up the last two on a Joe round. Good old Joe rounds. And Ninjas in pyjamas now find themselves 7-2 down. Fnatic just one away from guaranteeing a first half lead on the T side of D.E. Cash. I've got to say, it. this is really a tough to book for Fnatic. These guys have very rarely broken above that eight-round marker ever against NIP. Apart from that one game, uh, that was extremely strong. That one, one game. And that was in the Fnatic frag out yep. league. Yeah. So this could be a huge moment. This round, just mentally for these guys, is going to be massive. But they are against NIP with a rather nice selection of weaponry. So it's not going to be a Joe round. This is a full buy. I do believe. Actually, don't get right. I think no, uh, well, you start with a Famas, but yeah, yeah, pretty it's, much. It's still get right. It's a 90% round. Yeah. But uh, let's see how this one's going to A bit of slow play from Fnatic. Clearly, they know exactly what NIP are going to have in their hands. But will they expect Forrest? I don't think so. Trace is now ah. down, so early advantage. Brace tries to even up. Bit of a spray down there, but does get the connection. So a bit of an early exchange. Trace down and Forrest leaving at 4v4. Let's see exactly where the Fnatic side are looking towards. It's actually towards B at the moment. You've seen them uh, switch switch up on the drop of a hat. But for Flaren, nicely positioned to find one. Quickly put to bed by Carrigan, though. It's now here they go towards the bomb side. Oh, Freeburg, okay. the gatekeeper, gets one. Looking for that second, but Freeze is pushing forward now. Can apply further pressure. Can't land the shot, and Freeburg and get wow. right somehow keep hold of that. And deny Fnatic that chance to get onto that rather special round there. Yeah, uh, Fnatic did uh, virtually nothing wrong in that round. Um, Nip just... Had the better shots. I yep. think uh, Forrest will be happy, though, because he got rid of Trace in that round for the first <laughs> time in, what, ten rounds that they've played now. Yep. Uh, so that'll make him a happy sandboy. And 7-3 is the score right now. Fnatic still leading, still searching for the advantage to be guaranteed at half, and I'm pretty sure they're going to get it. And they've got to get at least one out of the last five, you'd fancy. But Ninjas in pyjamas now are just starting to find their feet here on Cash. And, oh, dearie me, uh, flash, flash is galore, uh, but they have managed to get into the bomb site here. Uh, Forrest is perfectly placed to take the head oh. off of Zip. Forrest with three in a row. Brilliant from Forrest. Fiflaren comes in to make it a 4F round. And the last man standing will be Freeze, funnily enough. Uh, and he is surely going down with that grenade going in and will get a headshot from Forrest once more. Thanks very much for the four man, Mr. Forrest. Wow, what great use of the smoke as well. I've got to say it, perfectly positioned there. Literally, Fnatic are nowhere to go. They, they, they were completely and utterly done by the smokes. And, well, I think Forrester showed us exactly how he wants to use them. You shouldn't really get that man mad, is what I've learned here. When he gets uh, angry, he seems to get rather good at this game. So it does seem as though Fnatic... Only, only when he's angry. Well, mostly, let's just say now. In the last couple oh of rounds, he's done goodness. rather well. That was ridiculous from Get Right right there. Just a touch, but it does seem as though Fnatic only have pistols, but it's doing <laughs> the damage. Nice bit of work going out there. Freeze does finally exist. <laughs> Forrest quickly avenging. And uh, it does seem as though only Moddy and Freeze are standing up against three for Flower and Forrest and Freeberg to stand. And, uh, well, the danger man is still very much alive, which is Forrest. So Flower and finds Freeze, and now only Moddy in a 1v3. Just a pistol. Gets one. Have to look for a second here. Don't think he's going to be given the chance. Nope, Fiflaren will get that, and it's getting a little bit even. Fnatic had such a great advantage. And now, five to seven. Yeah, three in a row uh, from the Swedes. 
Price topping the table now with 14 and 9. Freeze likewise for his team 12 and 10. And the gap down to just two rounds. So come up with something a little bit different here for Natty. Oh, misplaced uh, flash there. That's okay. Uh, run. Again, uh, just got to run straight through it. It doesn't matter though. I'm going to make a quick push here. And if you're flowering, might be able to fill his boots. He's got Moddy coming around to the left hand side. Does get the first one. Now, if he pushes here, and he is not going to actually. But that is the end of the run for him, uh, blocking that area. They'll know that they're going over towards the A bomb site. They've already picked up one over there. Carrigan gets dropped by Forrest up on top. Exist comes in with a second. Freeze and Trace, though, uh, get two a piece. It's now a two versus two. That grenade's going to be deadly inside the bomb site. Does take Freeze down to 40%. But Trace is in there as well. And now the pressure is on Fifth Laren and Freiburg. They've got to clutch this round. Oh, my goodness. They're not going to clutch it like that. Just wandering around, reloading and giving a free kill to Trace. Freiburg now will know where he is, though, in a 1v2 for the round. Forrest, oh my goodness, Freiburg easily disposed of by Freese in the end, and Fnatic will guarantee themselves a half-time lead. They have an 8-5 advantage with two to play. Yeah, indeed. And while it's going well, again, hopefully Fnatic, I want to see them pick up the momentum that they slightly lost for a couple of rounds. I want to see them start doing good again. I think you said it there. There was a very, there was a massive lack of variation coming out from them, and they seem to just keep getting uh, absolutely pounded by the NIP guys by the same old stuff. But let's see if they can switch that up now. Let's see where Auto Director wants to take us. He's directly to mid. So big push coming out from NIP. Actually, three members of NIP willing to challenge Fnatic here in the open playing field. Now has uh, sent a good couple of members reeling back for Fnatic. Freeze only on six HP. Zip on 32, and Moddy tagged up as well. But Moddy finding the first frag. So, early advantage to Fnatic, but for how long? Freeze, I'm only 6 HP. It's merely a matter of time with these guys. Let's see where they're looking towards. It does seem to be the... Well, it's going to be the A-bomb side, it seems. Zip just being tentative with bomb. Exist. Forest now populating the area. As I do believe it is nearly go time. Flash is mm. coming back out from NIP. Holding them at bay. Might be offsetting that time just a touch, but here comes Fnatic pushing forward. Well, it just didn't have an easy time over there, but he did finally take down Carrigan as Get Right chimes in, as does Forrest. And well, they're shooting and fishing in the barrel right now for NIP. As there we have it. Zip will go down two, and six to eight is that scoreline. NIP let it slip for a round, but they've surely brought it back this time. Only one issue. They haven't got a huge amount of cash no. for the last round, uh, so they're going to have a bit of a... Uh, a mixed buy on this last one. Uh, what have we got? Three Galils, two pistols, two fifties? I believe so. That's pretty much all they're going to get for being bad terrorists in round 14 as we head into the final round of the half. Uh, no, they're going to be down, but they'll only be worn down, uh, down by one. And they'll concede that that's absolutely fine. Lewis making an awful lot of noise in mid, uh, attracting the attentions of Forrest as well, and has already pinged Freeze down to two health without losing any of his own. And here comes Get Route around the side. He has landed a little bit of damage, gets the first one, who only had two anyway, and it's the Get Right Forest show right now in mid. They've picked off two. Moddy Zip and Trace remain. Director's uh, having a bit of a mare, frankly. Finally, uh, comes back to get right just in time. Who gets himself his second and third of the round? Is now on the hunt for another one. Uh, might just get oh, had to dodge out of the way very quickly towards the sandbags. So I'm thinking he's going to get him this time. He is indeed. Welcome to the four man club, Mr. Get Right. That's Ninjas in Pajamas pulling it back. It's 8 7 to Fnatic at the half. And on balance, that's probably about right. I don't think anyone can take that initial kind of momentum and money usage away from Fnatic there. They really worked that rather well considering. Um, but then again, you look at Forrest, the way he was roaming around, sensational, quickly adapting to any site. And as well, I've got to say, Exist was an absolute pillar. Whenever they pushed towards a bomb site, he literally just mowed them down. Sitting quite comfortably on the middle of the scoreboard, but still, rather impressive stuff. Yeah, uh, likewise, Fnatic, uh, interestingly, Zip really started off uh, very, very good indeed. Mm. I think he had nine kills after six rounds. Uh, he's only ended up at 10 kills overall. I don't know if I'm aligning him or not, but uh, it seemed to have dropped off towards the end of the half. So we'll see if that picks back up in the second mm. half. Carrigan also started very slowly. He got his first kill in round seven and ended up with seven and 12, uh, which is a fairly reasonable haul from the second half of the first half, which is actually the second quarter if you're playing American football. 
My mind has just... Mind equals pansies blown. <laughs> oh, no, that's completely <laughs> no. wrong. That's not going to work either. Dear uh, gonna need, I'm going to need to change some of these things I yep. say, I think. Um, just a few. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't see Twitch chat right now, but I can only imagine. <laughs> oh, I love you, Twitch chat. It's a good job I don't come out with any of the things I used to come out with. If D-Man's watching, <laughs> then he knows what I'm talking I'm not going to go into it, but he knows what I'm talking about. Uh, back in the day, crikey, I think that was 2007. And it was also in Call of Duty. Wow. Yeah. Back in oh, my no. day. Back in the old days, yeah. Uh, yeah, we used to, we used to do some, some silly stuff. Uh, we didn't mean to, by the way. That's what made it funnier. <laughs> Uh, anyway, back to this game. It's the Ray Cool EMS 1. Group C games. Our first match of the evening is an all Scandinavian affair. It's a, it's a bit like the Vikings versus the Normans. You knew I was going to do that, didn't you? It's the Vikings for it. versus the Normans tonight. <laughs> uh, if you know, don't know your history, you need to go and check it out. We've basically got three Scandinavian teams and one British. Yes, it yes. is that team. Yes, yes. I can't possibly repeat what it was, but it, it was, was that with team. With a knife and a gun. And, and he was running fast. That, That's all I'm saying, okay? That. That's oh, all no, I'm no, saying. No. Something about that. Uh, we all make mistakes, okay? <laughs> Yours are just recorded on air, live in front of a crowd. As the Daleks say, climbing off the dustbin. <laughs> Round 16, everyone. Uh, we're back and we're underway. And the opening kill on the round falls to Freiburg, but it's Fnatic Freeze with all the Fs. F, yeah. Uh, Fnatic leading the way right now as a 4v4. Inside that bombsite, Forrest does pick up the headshot onto Carrigan. He can get that bomb planted. Get right comes back and gets Zip, who's in the back. And Moddy replying in on six, uh, exists. So they've got a three versus two. Moddy, where on earth did that come from, man? That's just ridiculous. Uh, two from him, makes it a 2v2. Get right now, single picks off, free somehow, picks up the headshot, fifth flower now, comes back round, he's gotta go in, he's gotta go in! Freeze, he's, he's gonna get a defuse! Oh my goodness! Fifth Laren, need a watch, lad! Fnatic lead 9 7. Dear. God. I'm buying him a watch for his birthday. I know he's only just had a birthday, but I'm going to buy him a damn watch. It's a good investment, I've, <laughs> I've got to say. <sighs> but due to the lack of watch, we do see Fnatic now with those weapons beside them. And, well, normally, unless you're up against NIP, which we've seen, you should be getting a good couple of rounds off the back of this. So early nade has done a fair bit of damage to NIP as well. So Forrest being knocked off that full and complete HP and quickly put to bed by Freeze just peering over. So now 5v4, as you'd expect. Let's just see if our NIP can do anything on these pistols. Freeze is tanged up. Just biding their time. No need to rush Freeberg as well in a bit of danger. But Moddy finally another trace following suit. It's what you'd expect to see in a second round here. But Fnatic doing in quite good style, not even dropping a player. So, Fnatic start the second half. Just like they started the first half, albeit with a bit of luck. Uh, I guess you make your own luck as well. Could have gone for a fake diffuse and popped out. Yep. And uh, Fifth Laren then probably wouldn't have needed to have reloaded. All the ifs and buts, really. But Fnatic now lead by three. We're in our third round by here uh, from NIP, who have a slight gun advantage because their opponents only have three M4s between them. Looks like it might well be A again. Uh, Zip's going to put that grenade in. It's going to do one health damage to uh, Forest. As we wait for the push, Exist in the changing rooms right now. Is he about to change into Superman? Ooh. Well, right now, he's changed into a blind man. I think Pansy might have had to have muted herself after that one. Exist now creeping in towards the bomb site. They've still got... All men on both sides, almost at full HP. Just Forrest with that fingernail clipped off to give him 99 health. And they're going to go on 30 here. I'm pretty sure of it. Here we go. 30 seconds remaining. Into the bomb site they go. Zip just lays down the fire. Immediately has to change out weapon. 
and will lose out to Forrest. Trace getting one now back, gets a double in onto fifth round. Gets picked off by Forrest, who's still waiting. They've got 17 seconds remaining right now. Get right, can he control the spray? He can. Brilliantly on Carrigan, and it's now a one versus two. Get right into the wars, the bomb site with nine seconds remaining. It's got to go huge here. Picks off the first one, only has a few bullets left. Freeze, run, run, run as fast as you can away because you don't need to take that on. And that will be a round one by a Fnatic through sheer patience. And I've got to say it, NIP, big investment coming out from them. The way they played it was great. It was cool, it was calm, collected. They pushed perfectly. They waited for Get Right to come around and get the Straddlers, but it just didn't pay off. And now, money, why is it not looking too great at the moment? But nevertheless, let's see how this goes forward, as they do have an AK now in the hands of Get Right, up against five members of Fnatic with rather powerful weapons. So let's see if they're going to be as patient as they were before and really take this down to the wire. Well, Freeberg's been spotted just by a whisker through that smoke. Zipsnade will take him out there. So early advantage to the Fnatic side up on the CT half here. And what a lead so far for Fnatic. This is incredible stuff, folks. It's a very rare sight to see. So, MIP now. Oh, pixel perfect shot going out from Zip. Literally locking that bomb side down. They're not even getting a foot towards it right now. Let's have a little look and uh, see exactly where they're going. They're still looking towards A. Three, m the complete entirety of M NIP still looking towards the A bomb site. But uh, with Trace there, in addition to Zip, it's going to be a tough task. Those flashes really offsetting the time. 45 seconds left. Get all right, tanked up. But he has got the Sean to Carrigan there, so opened up just a touch. Will they expect the two players remaining? They've not seen Trace. He's picked up two, going to look for the third. Not going to get onto Forrest, who's taken down with a pistol, but Zip's there. And, well, look at that scoreline. 12 to 7. Would you have expected this? Uh, um, no, <laughs> uh, but then it's on cash, so... It's very true. You know, it's like I said at the very beginning of the show. Take nothing away from Fnatic. They've been fantastic so far. Uh, but cash was probably the best bet they had. Uh, of beating NIP in current form. Yep. Haven't beaten them on any of the other maps they've played. them on three nukes and the dust out of the four previous meetings. Lost all of them by more than eight rounds. They've never got more than eight rounds against Ninjas in Pajamas. And now here they are with a five-round lead in the first group game of Group C's Raid Court EMS 1 Cup. Season 2, Fnatic leading 12-7 here. And Freese, look at this. A masterclass with the M4. Can he get another couple here as well? Not quite. And actually, uh, well, he might. Trace might actually steal these away. <laughs> Carrigan's waiting on the side as well through the vent. He's going to pick up the first one on the roof. Uh, Get right drops. Forrest gets the revenge kill, but that's. Uh, Small consolation for them at the moment. They're just not getting anything working oh, right now. And Freeze gets himself two more for a four-man. He joins the four-man club. And it seems like the only chance you have of joining the four-man club is if you've got an F in your name. And Fnatic right now have got an F in their name, and they lead 13-7. Uh, and I've got to point out how well Freeze is playing. For someone to get a positive kill-to-death ratio against NIP, especially for Fnatic, that's not happened since the Copenhagen games for them. Literally every game they've played, they've been negative. He's currently on 23 to 13. That man is absolutely on fire right now, but let's see if he can keep this up. It's actually Carrigan to get the first. They want to Flaren as NIP burst out towards mid. Freeze quickly culls the attack with, actually no, it's Trace to get the damage done onto Forrest there. But uh, only leaving Get Right Freeburg and Exist standing for NIP now and in desperate trouble. Exist does manage to find one, but the damage is being done and Fnatic are literally oh, running yeah. right over oh, NIP right now. Goodness. Trace pops in at the last minute and gets a casual four man as you do. But 14 to 7, this is dangerous right now. It is. And uh, Trace just ruined my F joke. <laughs> yeah, he really uh, he, has. Does, he doesn't have an F in his name uh, and he's just got a four man to join another four man club. I haven't seen any aces tonight. Uh, but we've been pretty damn close to them. 14-7 then, and Fnatic now need just two more to win their opening game. Remember, we can have draws in the group stage as well. It can be 15-15. And NIP, oh my goodness, Freeze already tagged here. Uh, this time by Exist. He has to back away a little bit. Yeah, Fnatic now know that NIP have to win every single round of the nine remaining if they want to win the opening game in Group C. And it already looks much tougher tonight for Fnatic. Their next game 
Uh, sorry for NIP. Their next game against the Nexus, if they lose this, is going to have to be a monster one. Uh, this round, though, in round 22, they have a 3 2 advantage and are into the bomb site for the first time in a while. Bomb's going to get planted here. Zip's dropped exist in meanwhile. And now it's a two versus one as Zip gets the second of those. And it's Forrest and Freiburg against Zip. We've already seen Moddy clutch from here in a 2v1, but that time round, Ninjas in pyjamas had virtually no health. This time round, they've got a full set of health, nicely done by Freiburg. And Ninjas in pyjamas have saved at least one uh, of the rounds that they needed. And just a small matter of another eight in a row. Yeah, not much. Nah. Nah. We've seen some big comebacks recently, to be fair. We saw it on train not too long ago with ESC. But uh, obviously, NIP up against Fnatic, it's it's a tough task for either side. But you'd have expected to see the scoreline the other way around. But let's see if this round's going to go in the same suit that we've seen just to this point. So Freeze getting nice and aggressive and does clean the head of Exist, really pushing up on mid. And I'm liking the way they're playing this. It's very different to the way we saw NIP going for it to, in comparison to their very passive play on the CT side. So Freeze still roaming around mid and literally just doesn't look afraid of anything right now. So 5v4 situation in favour to the f defending CT side. But for how long? Freebug just about missing the shot as the player ducked underneath his aim and uh, trying to hold off that A push as he is still going roaming to try and find that player who's just out of place. Not going to catch a glimpse, though. So, let's see if this slow play will work for the uh, CT side as well, if they can uh, play as passive as they have been aggressive. Oddy knows there's a player not too far away, but he's just going to play it carefully. Trace and Zip still just in on eight. Freeze has found Forrest. Pushing Carrigan into action now. The vents finally get right. And now only Fiflaren and Freeburg stand. And Trace beautifully placing that bullet between the eyes of Fiflaren. And now only Freeburg stands. In a 1v5, he's a talented man, but can he really go this far with 26 seconds left on the board? He does have the bomb as well. He's taken down one. Good look at the second. Not going to happen. And Carrigan is there and takes Fnatic to 15 rounds up against a mere eight for NIP. Yeah. So uh, at least a point guaranteed from a match which they would have looked at in this group as the one game <laughs> they probably couldn't count on any points from for sure. And the first time on the verge of the first time beating NIP. And we have a little bit of a lag, little bit of, little bit of feet sliding, a little bit of skiing, but it's all good. Survival as Carrigan makes a big play here and Moddy gets the second one and they've got two. Three to find now for a victory in the first group game against Ninjas in Pyjamas, the world champions, the European champions, the reigning Raycourt EMS1 champions. And are they going down in the first game of our group stages? Fnatic just need three men and they will pick up the points. All three of them. In their first match, they will have to play Team X next and a Nexus after that. Too many X's for my liking. Exist here. He's nicely lined up on Carrigan and does pick up the kill. So he's got one. Can he get the second on the wheel? Oh, not quite on that bomb site. Uh, did get a little bit attacked. Oh, Exist! Monster headshot on Moddy. And it's a three versus three now. 35 seconds remaining. Still, NIP live and hope. And Fnatic now moving towards the bomb site with the bomb planted. Fifth Laren, one side. Waiting. Freeze now. If he throws this flash in, that's going to be a really good flash. Pops around the corner. Picks up the first one. Can he get the second one? The Tracer's got one as well. Forrest is now the last man standing. He goes down. And Fnatic have been fantastic. And they've defeated Ninjas in Pajamas by 16 rounds to eight. And boy, what a start to Group C. Not wow. the one we were expecting. No, not at all. Fnatic, the side who've been struggling with absolutely everyone. They've barely scraped through against LBLC, Absolute Legends and Nexus before. They've been losing to these teams who comfortably beat NIP. And this happens. Yep. Statistics can go out the window because clearly... Stats, schmats, <laughs> yeah. and all that. And 86% of them are all made up on the spot anyway. That's true. 100% of the time. Mine are. Anyway, uh, Fnatic winning 16-8. Uh, let us know if you thought that that was the way it was going to go. Uh, don't lie. 
Don't don't cheat and tell us you did. Oh, I said it was going to be 16-8 Fnatic. Yeah. No problem. Uh, because I think the only people that aren't going to be surprised is going to be the Fnatic uh, players themselves. Uh, I know these two teams have a storied history, and of course Fnatic are a big clan, a big team, worldwide clan in many big games. Mm. Uh, but at the moment, they haven't seen the success that they've seen in previous versions of the game, either in Counter-Strike Source, which they did have a period of dominance in, and of course a very lengthy dominance in 1.6. They haven't quite seen those heights yet. Maybe... Just maybe this is the start of it. It's a great time to make it a little bit of a turning mm. point, isn't it? Carrigan in the lineup now, and what a way to kick things off. Yep, just one game, of course. Let's not get too carried away. They've still got to beat a Nexus and Team X to qualify through the group stages, and we could end up now. It's the, the mind is already blown at this point. We could end up with a three-way tie in this group now. That's a possibility as well. Fnatic end up losing somehow against one of the other two teams. Entirely possible. It's, it's yeah. one of the hardest groups to predict other than the fact that we thought NIP were a sure bet. No longer. Who knew it, eh? NIP blow game one, but to be fair, Fnatic were absolutely brilliant on form in that first game. Next up, we'll bring you NIP versus a Nexus, and uh, we'll also give you a quick update on the other game between Team X and an Exus as well, to figure out where we are in the group stages. And we'll update you as we go along. Uh, we also have some fantastic videos for you this evening as well. Take a look at these. <laughs> 